What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Doyle back with another video. In today's video, um, I asked Instagram some psychology topics that y'all want me to talk about because um, people just really just rock with this my psychology videos for some reason. I don't know why, but people just love them. So um, I'm just here to help somebody. So I asked Instagram, what is the psychology topics that y'all want me to talk about? And I got so many, like, it was literally like so many requests. And I just picked two. I was going to pick one, but I wanted to pick two for this uh, video. Um, it's gonna be more future psychology videos, so I didn't forget about you, but um, let's just get into it. So the two questions that I got, I'm gonna put them on the screen somewhere. It's gonna be somewhere on the screen. And basically, a guy asked me, like, basically, like, what is your psychology when you're trading on your last dollars? Okay, so that's question number one. Question number two is, how do you not, uh, not let losses affect your mood for the day or for the week? Okay, so let's talk about trading on your last dollars. If you are trading on your last dollars where this is money that you're not willing to lose, you already lost. Okay, we can just wrap up this video right now. If you trading with money that you just not willing to lose, like you need this to be a win, you lost. Stop trading, bro. Okay, stop. I need you to stop because this is an investment. This is a risk, bro. Nothing is guaranteed. So if you're not willing to lose, what are you doing? You're when you're trading and you're trading with money that is you're so attached to you're done man it's like you you're in a market so stressed and worried you're, you're shaking you're scared and it's like that's not how you're supposed to be when you're trading in the morning it's not it shouldn't even be like trading itself is already difficult you're making it harder on yourself because you're trading with money that you're not willing to lose and then the way he said it trading on your last dollars it make it sound like you don't have a lot of funds in your trading account so you should stop right there as well like are you trying to be a full-time trader or are you just doing this for a little side gig or this is just like a little side hustle okay you need to ask yourself that because if you're trying to be serious about this you need a lot of capital straight up you know what i'm saying like you can flip accounts but how long are you going to flip an account before you blow it you know what i'm saying it takes skill to like flip small accounts it's that's not easy everybody can't do it so it just trading on your last dollars is like the worst Thing you can possibly do when it comes to day trading period I, like i i would not come on here and be like yeah you yeah just put 500 in you're gonna be good bro no you're not gonna be good bro you can flip that yeah you can flip that but our, our what what is the end goal like what, what do you want to get out of day trading what do you want to get out of forex are we here to just like you know play around and you know, get a little account flip and withdraw it and then be done or are we trying to be in this long term i'm pretty sure if you're watching this video you're trying to be a day trader for the long run you know what i'm saying get payouts invest in other stuff keep trading do this for the long haul like that's what i'm doing but if we just playing around trading with the, our last dollars and not taking this stuff serious bro you're not for real you don't really want this for real you know what i'm saying like you you taking this as a joke like i feel like people that be trying to put just a little bit in their trading account or try to get the easy way out or try to find something that's easy when it comes to trading, it's it's not gonna happen. This stuff is hard, bro. Like, it's the reason why people keep quitting. It's hard. This is not easy. So, bro, trading with your last dollars, just stop right now. Do not do that, okay? That's not recommended. Put money to the side, save up, get funded. Do not risk money that you're not willing to lose. It's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm gonna leave that right there. Trading with your last dollars, that's, no, we're not doing that here. Second question, how do you not uh, how do you not let losses affect you and and, and damage ruin your day or, or week? Now I, I'm guilty of this because when I was working at my job, I used to be very disappointed in myself, very discouraged when I used to have a losing day and then I have to go to work right after. Because like I said, I used to um, work second shift, so I used to trade and if I had a, a, a bad day, I used to go to work so miserable. It's un, it's it's unbelievable. Like I used to really be mad, and I tried to be like happy at work, but it was just it was like damn, like my future is really like I I used to think like damn, I'm about to be a failure, and I don't even know why. I used to just think like that, like damn, like if I don't make this work, I'm just gonna just be a loser, like no cap. But um, what I used to do, what I used, well, what I still do to this day, I still meditate. I still gotta get in some nature, bro, and um, I like to listen to. Things that just uplift me throughout the day. So like podcasts, stuff like this. I listen to this when you're at work because um, this stuff is just not easy, man. Like losing is not easy. Like we're we're doing stuff that the human 
um, that, that humans just don't normally do. Like, who wakes up every single morning and risks their money every single day? Us day traders, we do that. But our average person, they're, they're literally not even, <laughs> you gotta be conditioned for stuff like this. Like, it takes time to um, really be a, a robot in a market. And at the end of the day, we, we're not 100% a robot, but we try to be. So that's why, like, um, certain traders will basically do a little bit better than others because they already train themselves to be immune to these losses and the pains that comes with um, trading because this stuff is not hard. Like I can't, I can make these videos for you, but when it's time to trade, you're on your own. Like you're in the field by yourself. I can't, I can't trade for you. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you if you should hold your trade or not. Like you gotta know what you're doing and you gotta be able to um, manage your emotions. So I, I, I can keep making these psychology videos for um, people that watch my channel, but when it's time to be in the field, you gotta be under control. So um, losses, when I used to go to work, it used to really just hurt me, bro. Like, I used to be like, man, like this shit suck, bro. Like I'm, okay, I just, I just grew my account and now I'm at break even for the week, damn. Like, okay, nah, and especially like if I used to, when I used to lose on Friday, and I used to go to work on Friday, he used to be like, damn, I gotta wait Saturday and Sunday, and then I'm back at it Monday. It was very stressful, but like, I, I literally used to listen to podcasts, uh, meditate, get in some nature, bruh, and just try to keep, keep my mind off of what I, just, what I just experienced earlier in that day, which was losing. So um, you gotta find ways to cope with losing and going to your job. You know, it's, it's not easy. Like, I, that's why I keep saying, like, it, I'm going to keep saying the same stuff on these psychology videos. It's no easier way to get out of your job, but to go through a journey and go through the pains that's going to come with it. It's stressful regardless. It's stressful, bro. And it's just, it's no easier way. Like, I wish I really could have, like, recorded myself when I used to lose um, by myself when I wasn't like, you know, when I had to, when I, while I have the discord and have like people like, you know what I'm saying? I'm helping. But when I was by myself, like that shit was painful, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like I used to lose. And I used to be like, man, I don't know. Like, should I even be doing this shit? Like, and I, and again, like I still believe in the skill set. I still believe in day trading, but it's still like when you lose, you get discouraged. It's nothing. That's human nature. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, you can't try to act like you just didn't just um, get hurt off of that loss. Like, I'm not gonna act like, like I just lost on Friday on, with Nas. Like, I, I tried to go 4-0, and I went 3-1. and one. And it was just like, damn, I just lost $1,500, okay. 10K week, done. But it's, it's more or less stressful now than it was when I was at my job. It's more stressful when you go to your job after a loss because it's like, damn, this is keeping me here longer. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta just really just be level-headed Start praying, bro, and just um, take your losses with a grain of salt. It's part of the business, you know? Like, you gotta accept that, okay, this is a probability game. I was just talking about this on my webinar. This is a probability game. You can't act like it's just always gonna just be butterflies and rainbows and unicorns running around and shit. Like, no, it's, it's not gonna be like the People don't like talking about the ugly of day trading, but it, it can get ugly if you don't know what you're doing and you're not managing your emotions. And like I said, I can make these videos every single week for you but are you going to be disciplined enough to follow your rules are you going to follow your trading plan are you going to listen to um any of your mentors are you going to like you know you know what i'm saying like it, it's really up to you at the end of the day you can watch as m many videos as possible you can be on youtube all day but it don't matter when you're by yourself and you 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 you're breaking your rules you, you're breaking your trading plan it's just like okay like you you haven't lost enough money yet that's that's why I always go back to that. When you lose a certain amount of money, you gonna tighten up, man. So losses, man. It just I face it to this day. I lose, I win, and it's just at the end of the day, bro. Like I don't try to let it affect me. Like it, it do suck. Like Friday, I was just like, damn, I hate losing on Friday, but I just know next week is gonna be a great week. This week is gonna be a great week. So I just I try to stay positive. That that's just the best way to do it. Stay positive, man speak positive things into your life. Like, I'm going to be a profitable trader. I am an entrepreneur. I am a six-figure earner. I am a millionaire. Like, you got to speak things into your life because they will manifest over time. But um, I always try to stay optimistic. Like, even when I was um, clocking in at my job after a losing day, I used to be like, man, I'm still, I'm, I'm, tomorrow I'm going to get this. I'm going to get it right back. Like, 
I used to just talk to myself. I, I still talk to myself to this day. I don't care. I would literally have a whole conversation with myself and I don't care what people think because I have a relationship with myself and the most high. So it just, um, I just believed in myself. Even when I was losing, I believed in myself. It's just that simple. But um, yeah, that's, that's really all I wanted to talk about. So just to wrap this up in a nutshell, trading with your last dollars, that's pointless. Don't do it, that's stupid, period. Save up some money or get funded. This is, this is a, a, a business where you can lose it all if you don't know what you're doing. You can control your risk. That's what you do have control over is your risk, how you manage your account, and how you trade. But if you're trading with money that's um, something that you're just really not willing to lose, you are already at a disadvantage from everybody else. Um, handling losses and trying to not let it affect you throughout the day, man, you just got to just stay positive, man. Listen to podcasts. Listen to people that uplift you. You know what I'm saying? If you rock my channel and you, you, you fuck with what I, what I say on my psychology videos, keep listening to it. Like, do what you need to do to get through it because there's no easier way. I'm always going to keep saying that. It's no easier way. Only a select few make it to the other side, bro. Real talk. But that's all I got. Peace and love. I'm out. Thank you.